The problem two of today's lab is similar to problem one, except one end of the string will be loose. So if you send a pause, you can see it will be reflected on the same side. Okay, so in order to make the first standing wave, you have to move the wrench uh, down when uh, the, the wave reflected back. So it's like this. Okay, move it up. So it's like this. Move it up. And when the wave comes back, move it down. And then when it come back, move it up. And come back, down. Come back, up. Come back, down. And of course, uh, to make the wave uh, shape look better, you should move it in the sinusoidal soil way, which is a bit harder. So you have to move it up. Still pretty hard. Yeah, each time you want to give it a little bit amplitude, and it's not bad. No, it's uh, that's your first standing wave. You can measure the frequency the same method as we used in problem one. You see that left end is a, a node, the right end is an anti-node. From node to the nearest anti-node is a quarter of the wavelength. So this is one quarter of wavelength. Uh, for the next standing wave, the right end, the left end will still be an anti-node, and we want the second anti-node to be uh, one third away from the right. So we are going to do our second one. Okay, good. Once you see the pattern, you follow this rhythm, okay? Don't worry, the amplitude is getting fairly big because you can use the damping. Okay, damp a bit more. Okay, that's your second uh, harmonic or the second standing wave. You have an anti-node on the left and the anti-node uh, a third of the length of the string. Now you count the number of a quarter wave, okay, not the number of half waves, it's the number of quarter waves will be our harmonic number. So here you have node to anti-node one, anti-node to node two, and node to anti-node, three. So, so there are three quarters on, on this uh, standing wave. This is n equal to three. n equal to two is not possible because the loose end will always be an anti-node. So, so that's why for the uh, loose uh, fixed to loose end, uh, we say the even harmonics are missing. So we will only have n equal to 1, 3, 5, and so on. So let's restart and find next one, which is n equals to 5. So this one will be a bit quicker. Again, you start with a quicker motion. And once you see the rhythm of the string, you just follow that rhythm. It's not pretty, but it's good enough. So I'm going to damp it a bit. Okay. And I will pause, and you can see this is one, two, three, four, five, five quarters. So that's n equals five. And so the next one is even faster, n equals seven. That's what I'm trying to get. Okay, once you find the rhythm. Just follow that rhythm, give it more energy, and then use damping to make it smaller. So it's not very good, but it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you can measure the uh, frequency of this and 
that's f7. The last one will be uh, n equals to 9, which is even faster. Give it a bit more damping. Okay, let's pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, you, you can you can see the wave pattern is is not that pretty, but you know, give it a few try and you will be able to build it and measure the frequency. <laughs> 